Kiora, and welcome to Walk in the Shadowlands podcast. Let me be your guide as we take a walk into the shadowy realms of the unexplained, of the paranormal, of things that go bump in the night and haunt your dreams. Your hosts. I'm Marianne. Thanks so much for joining us today, tonight, whatever time it is, wherever you're living in this beautiful world of ours. Sit back, relax, and let me be your guide as we walk into the Shadowlands together and see what awaits us there. Hi everyone, I just want to take a few minutes to share some thoughts on the current situations we all find ourselves in. But before I start, were you all aware that the term conspiracy was first created by the CIA as a way to discredit free thinkers, people who wouldn't follow the social engineering set out by those in control of society at that point in time and is still used in that way today. For those of you who are not familiar with the term social engineering, social engineering is the deliberate planning by perceived authorities worldwide to manage social change and to regulate the development and behaviour of any set society or part of that society. It's a form of attack on that society or part of that society that relies heavily on human interaction and always involves manipulating people into breaking normal practices, thought patterns, ways of thinking or seeing things or their belief systems. Social engineering, it's all a manipulation. If you were to Google social engineering, it mainly only refers to social engineering as being, quote, the use of deception to manipulate individuals into divulging confidential or personal information that may be used for fraudulent purposes, end quote. That's pretty sneaky, because that's only one aspect of a small part of social engineering. One current example of social engineering that is currently doing the rounds are set phrases that are used over and over and over by the media. One that springs immediately to my mind is this particularly insidious one, the new normal or the new norm. This is very, very insidious and you hear it being used everywhere on all media, the new normal. Setting in people's minds and subconsciousness that this is the way it's going to be from here on in, so get used to it. If you're aware of this social engineering, then you see examples of this sort of public manipulation being used on all people all the time. Another insidious one is unprecedented times. This one is used to justify draconian measures that have been installed. You probably recall hearing these terms being used over and over by the press in all of its forms and on social media, particularly with regards to the COVID situation, but not only that. Now, I've been very open with you all, with my listeners, about my interaction with my star people and my knowing. I've tried where I can to help educate and inform people about the presence of star people and other realities of being, apart from the one you are all currently knowing. I'm going to share some stuff with all of you now. It's not new. I talk about it in my Facebook group, Walking the Shadowlands, the group that this podcast evolved from. This is my knowing, my understanding. I do not speak to create fear. I speak to help you all understand why so much seems to be happening in what appears to be such a short space of time. So those of you listening have options. You can listen to what I'm going to say and take it, ponder over it, question it, question it, question it. See how it feels within your soul, within your heart, how it sits with you, how it resonates with you, and then accept it or not. I'm not asking you to believe what I'm going to say to you without questioning it. 
I'm not actually asking you to believe it at all. I'm merely sharing my knowing. And if it doesn't sit with you, then discard it. You'll have lost nothing but a few minutes of your time. I do not now, nor have I ever cared if people believe my words or not. I simply don't care. And I've said that many times. I know my truth. I have known that my star people have taught me all my years of living on this planet. I am walking my path and it's time for me to speak out. Part of this work of mine here is to educate and to help awaken people. I want to acknowledge, particularly for our members in the USA, things are appearing to be pretty scary at the moment. For some of you, it may feel as though you are being assaulted from all sides, the virus the protests and rioting, earth changes, political unrest, job losses. There is so much going on. I'm not going to specifically talk to the reasons behind the current protests. I am going to give a much broader picture. But do not mistake that because I am not specifically addressing this senseless loss, that I do not feel it, nor that I do not understand the fully justified anger. It would seem unparalleled things are happening in this world all at once. For many of you, the end result of this is fear. Fear of catching an illness that could kill you. Fear of the loss of livelihood. And along with that, the fear of losing your home, of your perceived security, of not being able to feed and look after your families, to clothe them, to keep them warm, provide shelter. And for many, this is already a day-to-day reality. This is especially hard on mums with young babies. And I really want to particularly acknowledge you all. Fear of being caught up in the current escalating violence, particularly in the USA. Fear, fear, fear. Fear that is for some overwhelming, paralyzing and or consuming. Let me just say to you all that this fear is being deliberately manufactured. I will repeat that, deliberately manufactured, or rather the situations are being deliberately manufactured. So the end result is this fear. It's an agenda that's been played out in front of our eyes. This is how those who currently control this reality, this world, it's how they want you to feel, how they want us all to feel. Because people who are fearful are easily controlled and look to others, to perceived authority figures, to tell them what to do, to make them feel safe. And in this state, people so readily give up their rights, their freedoms, under the guise of security. You can see this happening in New Zealand, in my very own country, where under the guise of this virus, draconian laws were passed without public scrutiny. Police can now enter our homes here in New Zealand without a warrant, where our freedoms have been severely curtailed and even stopped for a period of time. U.S. President Benjamin Franklin once said in a now famous quote, those who would give up essential liberty to purchase a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. What I feel he meant by that was that giving up liberty in order to get safety is something that's bad. It's so bad that We don't deserve to have either liberty or safety if we're willing to give liberty up. This means that liberty is the most important thing. But this is not only physical liberty. That includes the liberty to think for yourself without manipulation, to speak for yourself and to be able to express your views and not have your thoughts, your perceptions, your paradigms manipulated by others to fulfill their nefarious agendas. But the question you must all ask yourself is why is all this happening and why now? What is the end game of all of this and what can you do about it? Can you actually do anything? This is where I'm going to go into my personal knowing and experiences.
This may seem way out there for many of you. As I said previously, those of you listening have options. You can listen to what I'm going to say and take it, question it, ponder over it, see how it feels within your soul, within your heart, how it sits with you or you cannot. The choice is entirely yours. This perceived reality is a controlled reality, some say a holographic reality even, a prison more or less, where our thoughts, our perceptions, our notions of what is and is not real are tightly controlled. The control used to be less obvious than it is these days. And that's because these days the controllers just simply don't care anymore. They don't care that you know what they are doing. (sighs) This reality is controlled by a group of beings not on this planet. It is the underlings who are here on this planet and placed in all governments and controlling bodies in all parts of this world that do the day-to-day controlling for these beings. Humanity has been enslaved by these beings here in this reality since they were first created as a slave race by them. Not much has changed in that respect, only these days you cannot see the ties that are used on you. But that is changing and rapidly. People are waking up. They are waking up to the knowledge that their perceptions, their thoughts are being controlled and manipulated by others. I work and have been working my entire life with a group of beings of many different species who have been working tirelessly to remove the current planetary controllers. But do not fear that the group I work with will then take over or take control. Far from it. We as a group are working to free humankind from the ties that have held you as prisoner for oh so long. Once freed you will, this planet will, then become a part of the greater intergalactic communities and left to develop without outside interference of any sort. There are different factions, different species of beings of planet. Some, who like the current planetary controllers, have no regard for humankind whatsoever and wish to keep humanity an enslaved species, a relatively unevolved species. Then there are a group of species of beings who are absolutely neutral. They simply watch and observe all factions. Then there is my group who's been actively working tirelessly behind the scenes to free humanity from the grasp of these current controllers. I know, I know, I know, I know, to some listening, this will sound like science fiction, like utter fantasy from a woman who's obviously delusional. And that's okay. That's absolutely okay. Everyone is perfectly entitled to think and feel whatever they like. No one has the right to say you must believe this or you should believe that, however sweetly wrapped it might be. As I said, I'm simply sharing my knowledge, my knowing with you all. What you do with that is entirely your choice, which is as it should be. So that brings us to where we are today. What is happening is that the current world controllers are losing the battle for your freedom. They are struggling to maintain control. Too many people have awoken from the enforced slumber placed upon humanity and are, if not merely questioning, they are actively trying to dismantle the current systems by working within them to effect change or openly questioning protesting, or as we are seen most recently, standing up and protesting the system when they see an obvious injustice perpetrated on an innocent person or on an innocent group of people. 
the current controllers are facing a battle, a physical battle from off planet with my team who are currently dealing to them and have been for some time and on planet with those of us who came in here to break the system, to help awaken people and to evoke change from within the very system. The group of beings I work with adhere to a universal law that states that you cannot affect change on a developing species from the outside. You cannot interfere with their growth. However, if you have people working from the inside, living on the planet as those particular species, in this case as humans, then we can evoke change from the inside. And that is that is what has been happening for some time now. This is not a new process. This process has been going on for centuries, actually. It's been a slow process of waking humanity, of getting human beings to the level where they currently are at, where insufficient people have awoken to the injustices, to the manipulation, to the knowledge that not everything is as it appears to be. So, the current controllers are running scared and using the tools that they have always used to control people, to manipulate us in situations, to deliberately keep people preoccupied and in the fear state. Their time left here is short, but do not expect that they will let up. They will fight until they can fight no longer. They don't want to let go of what they have controlled for millennia. This is a very, very big deal. On top of that, as if that were not enough, this planet is a living entity. She, to use a generic, she is going through her own growth and development. So there are physical earth changes that are going on and will continue to happen. So to use that term unprecedented, yes, this is. This time period is extraordinary for every one of us living here. We are all experiencing this together. We cannot control earth changes. They are a necessary part of this planet's physical and spiritual evolution, just as we have our own and are a regular cyclic thing with her. So what can you do? How can you deal with all of this? I want you all to understand that these are difficult times. These changes are part of the reason why the veils between the realms are thinning, buckling and tearing and why so many more people are having spirit encounters, are seeing things that they never saw before. This is a group of massive things that are happening both with the planet and with us at this point in time. Those who control this planet will continue to ramp up the fear factor as much as they can. Don't buy into it if you can help it. With the understanding of what I've given you, try and step back from your emotions and look at the overall picture. If you find yourself becoming overwhelmed by it all, turn off the TV, get off social media, go for a walk in nature, to a park, by a river, by the sea, ground yourself, do some gardening, mow the lawn, do something physical, go for a run, go for a walk if you can. If you can't, try and visualize yourself doing something or being in some place that gives you peace and joy. Look to see where you can help your neighbor, friends, strangers in the street. Be kind and act from your heart. Speak from your heart. Listen from your heart. If you can do something, even if it is only speaking up, then do it. You are not helpless. Far from it. They, the current controllers, want you to feel like you are. They want you to feel like you have no control, no say, no voice, no power. But you are all, every single one of you, Powerful spiritual beings. Powerful spiritual beings having a human experience. Powerful, beautiful and far, far stronger than you realize you are. Don't give in to fear in the coming times. Prepare yourselves as much as you can. Seek knowledge. Knowledge is power and knowledge removes fear.
We are all in for a bit of a ride, but we will all get through this. Hang in there, everyone. We're all in this together, and the ride's going to get a little bit bumpy. Thank you so much for listening today, tonight, whatever time it is, wherever you're living in this beautiful world of ours. We'll see you in two weeks' time. Thanks for listening.